Nice prof, ATTR, you learn about these things later. All these can be centralized. Why you have to have these things in each and every computer in your network? And you, when you are going to maintain, they have to maintain all of them. And when you are creating users or creating roles, these are used for roles. When you are creating roles, you have to go to each and every computer and modify. Why you have to do that? Right? You don't have to do that. Right? All can be in one central place. So putting all of them in one central place. How? For that we have to configure NIS or NIS plus. But if I want to put only ETC host, only this in one central place, then we have to do what? Then we have to do what? This is a DNS. Right? So depending on for purpose, can I use both at the same time? Can I use NIS and DNS at the same time? Yeah, I can do it. Right, I can tell the computer. This is the computer. So go to uh, NIS first. If it is not available, not available, info not available, right? Then go to DNS. I, I, can, I, can, I can do that, right? So I tell my PC, go to NIS, try to get your information. If it is not there, then go to DNS. If I don't want the machine to go to DNS, then I say, if it is not found, then return. I can say return. If I put it here, not if not found, return, then it won't go to DNS. This won't go to DNS. Right? I can do that also. Right? So all this can be done. Determining don't go to DNS. Yeah, if I don't want the system to go to DNS, I can still tell that, right? Don't go to DNS. If I want, okay, go to, if I want, I can put like this. Try NIS. If it is not there, then try it. Try first uh, local files. I can say local, I can just say files. If I say files, that means I'm, I'm telling the computer to look at the local files. If files are not there, then go to NIS. If NIS is not there, then go to NIS plus. If NIS plus is not there, go to DNS. Like that I can tell also, right? I can put all of them somewhere. I can tell all these to this machine. So I have to uh, tell this machine. If files is not there, if, if information is not in the local files, that means etc files, then go to NIS. If it is not there, go to NIS plus. If it is not there, DNS. If I want, I can tell that, right? right? There is no reason to use these two, right? If I want, I can do that, right? What's the difference between NIS and NIS plus? Yeah. <coughs> Basically, the function wise, they are same, function wise, but the technology is different. Even though the name looks same, the technology is completely different, right? We'll come to that. So how will I tell this PC? Okay, try your uh, local files. If it is not there, go to DNS or go to NIS. How can I tell this with computer? The, because with the help of LDF? No. I'm not using LDF, LDAP. So how can I tell the computer? The script? Mm -hmm. What? Uh, script or file? We're talking about file. So what file? Configuration file. There's a configuration file for that also. So I have a configuration file in the ETC, in, in, in this PC. That configuration file is ETC NS switch Skype. Skype? Oh, you. Yeah. 
So I have a file in my local machine, etc. The file is called nsswitch.conf. NS switch. Yeah, name service switch.conf. it starts, it will first understand what domain I belong to by reading another file called domain name, forget about that now, then after that it's going to read this file. So when the system boots, it will know, oh, this is my domain, okay, and this is the file I should read. When the domain is configured, it will automatically go and read this file, right? So this file will have information. Okay, use files, local files, or use DNS, or use NIS, or use NIS plus, right? So this so NS switch has all this information. NS switch has all this information. What to what to access first, then what to access next, right? So this file will have information for all these most of these files. So it will say here, for whose use your use your uh, uh, local files. That means for host, to get the information about host, I will use my local file. If local files, the information is not behind the local file, right, then go to NIS. If information is not there in NIS, okay, then go to DNS. Then what are the name services running in my system? So what are the name services uh, this uh, this one will know. Yes. Or, or what are the name services I have configured in my environment? What are the name services I have configured in my environment? What are the name services? NIS and DNS. <coughs> if I have not configured, how can I tell the machine? Oh, go to the NIS server, go to the DNS server, how can I tell? So I should have configured these two, right? Then I am saying next line, to get the information about ethers, go to files or go to NIS. No, I can't say go to DNS for that, right? We're committed, I can't go to DNS for that purpose. Then I will say for, uh, for what is other information, services information, go to files, right? I can have different things, or I can have for everything in this, 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 right? So if suppose for this also I'm having this, for this also this, for that also this, 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 for everything, then rather than opening this file, and modifying that file using VI editor, it takes a long time for me to change all the lines. So what I do is, I will copy another file called nsswitch.nis. I will copy this file to this. So what information, whatever information which is here, will be overwriting this file. Computer will read only this file. It won't read that file. That file is a, just a template. Right? So, rather than changing lines one by one, I copy the whole thing here. Right? If I copy the whole thing here, computer will read the information which is in this so file. So, like cpns switch dot nis and then this Space one. and then this one. So, it will so copy everything which is there inside this. So, everything will be in this. And then it will delete. Yeah, then I don't have to change one by one. If I want to copy another file called this plus, this plus, if I want to configure NIST plus, then I copy that to here, right? If I want to configure LDAP, then I copy dot LDAP to this. If I want to configure, uh, what is that one? D DNS, then I will say dot DNS that file, I copy to this. So that's what I do. So this file only has information of the way to access the, access the information requested by the client. First access this, then second access this, and third access that, like that, right? Okay? Clear, right? Eh? So it's not clear. So yeah. uh, NS switch, what does it do? NS switch is like, a, uh, like, a, like say, for example, one person is walking in. So you have a file. What, what is your name? Your name is Tom. Okay. Tom goes to classroom 5. So classroom 5. Tim, classroom 3. 
from uh, Kim class from 10 like that. So that is like a director. Direct, direct. It directs to, okay, go to DNS, go to uh, for the service. But you should have configured all these services, otherwise it doesn't know. So we have to copy all that in it and then only it will. Yeah, yeah of course. We have to either modify this file or just copy whatever appropriate and then modify in the way you want. Same if you as want DNS to. also. Pardon? DNS too, we have to copy? Yeah, yeah, in that case you will copy the DNS. Whatever name service you want to copy, you copy. So, okay. but when, where is that? So you are saying the information from NS switch is copied to this etc ns switch dot com right mm -hmm. so uh, where is that one used which NS one used switch dot nis no this is there in the etc directory it is not used it is, it is a, just a template oh it's just a template it's a just a template so who updates it? but then nobody updates that nobody updates that if suppose your company has a policy okay if anybody take this file then it has to be like this then they can modify but otherwise, it's just a template. So yeah, this is where I'm confused. Yeah. So you are saying that's a template, mm -hmm. but you are saying the information from there gets copied to this and it's switched. Not get copied. You have to copy. You have I have. To yeah, copy. you copy it there, but it's just a template. It doesn't have the information, right? No, template has information, right? Otherwise, uh, we 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 don't we don't we can't use it, right? It has information. So, so it's it, not it a template. Has, template no. meaning like telling you. I, I, I will explain that when I go to. Okay. You will understand it. Right? Yeah, I'm yeah, so don't worry about that. Uh -huh. So, but you have to understand nswitch.conf has the default information, that information which the computer will read yeah. to find out the way to access information. Okay? Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Um, what, like, um, uh, this is a um, pre configured uh, template. Pre prof, uh, if you want service like dot ns, it's already prof, pre configured. Prof, 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 profile, profile, profile. If you want service like plus, like it's already reconfigured, just replace it. It's something like uh, whatever you design you like, you can change. Uh, if you take an example of PPT, PowerPoint slides, there are many templates. Whatever you like, you can keep it in a similar way. No, the same no don't, don't worry. No, no, I will explain when I show in the computer. Don't worry. Okay, so you understood this, right? This is the one computer will read. That's all you should understand, right? Then. Uh, so that is uh, that is to tell the computer where to go for what, right? Yeah. Please, please don't remove this, okay. this part. Oh, this part I can remove. Yeah. Inbuilt okay. in the system, or we need to access. It's there. It's already there, right? So we talked about a file called nsswitch.com. What is the significance of this file? What is the significance of this file? It gives the direction. Uh, direction where to go for name service. It gives the direction where to go for name service. Okay. And also there is another file called etc default domain. In the case of NIS, in the case of NIS, NIS is a name service. Any name service should have a domain name. Mm -hmm. So the default domain for the name for the name service should be inside that file. If you have a name service called uwinpro, if you, if suppose your domain name is uwinpro, so you put that in uwinpro. That's just uwinpro inside this. That is not case sensitive. So that, uh, that is case sensitive. Okay. So that one is other uh, type of file. I mean, it's another file. I mean. Another file. This is um, nsswitch.com. It gives us a direction where to go for? Uh, company information or, or maybe, sorry, uh, configuration file information or, or anything like host information, host related information. <laughs> I told you all this information, ethers related information, right? Can you repeat what you said just now about default domain? I didn't get it. Okay. So, if I want to configure DNS, I should have a domain name. You agree? If I want to configure NIS plus, I should have a domain name. Right? Same way, if I want to configure NIS, also I should have a domain name. So, any services we have to configure? 